Hello viewers, welcome to another blog. I am Dr. Joy Dev and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is tuberculous lymphadenitis that means TB of lymph node. As we know that lymphadenitis can uh, be caused due to a lot of infectious organisms and TB is one of them. So, if there is an infection of the lymph node by tuberculosis then it is known as tuberculous lymphadenitis. First, let me tell you what is lymph node. Lymph node is a component of our immune system. It is a part of lymphoreticular system and that is comprised of lymphatic vessels and these blue colored dots, these are called lymph nodes. Now, what are the functions of lymph node? Suppose if there is any infection, any cut or any kind of infection over here, then the surrounding uh, lymph nodes, they will collect any infectious organism like any bacteria, virus or any other organism and they will carry that organism towards the central of the body and along the path there will be some lymph nodes and due, uh, during this transport these organisms they will enter the lymph node also and then what, what will happen here? These lymph nodes are actually comprised of a lot of uh, millions of lymphocytes. These lymphocytes are the key component of our immune system. These lymphocytes are of two types. The first one that is B lymphocyte and another one that is T lymphocyte. The B lymphocyte is associated with production of antibodies. As we know that if there is any uh, harmful organism if any harmful organism that enters our body, then our body produce some chemical substances to fight against those harmful organisms and those chemical substances are known as antibody. So, if the bacteria containing different types of antigens or proteins, the antibodies that will be produced, they will be, they will be um, active against those antigens. So, the B lymphocyte is associated with, is capable of making antibodies and next that is T lymphocyte. This T lymphocyte is associated with cell mediated immunity. That means, if anything, if any harmful organism enters this lymph node, then those T lymphocyte will directly kill those organisms. So, this is cell mediated immunity. So, there are two parts of immunity. One is humoral immunity that means there is production of antibody and by producing antibody we will neutralize the organisms and the second one that is cell mediated immunity. Here body will produce, body will actually make uh, lots of T lymphocytes and those T lymphocytes will directly kill those organisms. So, these lymph nodes uh, give places for these lymphocytes and there is maturation of lymphocytes. So, if any bacteria from this lesion, if that enters this lymph nodes through the lymphatic vessels, then within the lymph node, the B cell will produce uh, antibodies against those bacteria and the T cell also will help in killing of those bacteria. So, this is why lymph node is so much important in building a normal immunity. Now, let us come to the topic proper. So, lymph node TB is the second most common site of tuberculosis in our body. The most common site of tuberculosis is, it is lung. Lung is the most common site of tuberculosis in our body. But lymph nodes are the second most common site of tuberculosis in our body. And commonly the group of lymph nodes those are involved are cervical lymph nodes in case of tuberculosis. But it is not that that only cervical lymph nodes will be involved in case of, in case of tuberculosis lymphadenitis. It is not like that any lymph node in any part of the body can be involved in tuberculosis. But most commonly it is observed in cervical group of lymph nodes. So, the most common organism, most common type of tubercular bacteria that is known as mycobacterium tuberculosis that causes most number of cases of lymph node tuberculosis. 
but it can also be caused by some other subspecies of tuberculous bacteria those are mycobacterium bovis mycobacterium kansasi and mycobacterium fortuitum these are also some of the mycobacteria which can also cause tubercular lymphadenitis so we have to keep in our mind that it is not the mycobacterium tuberculosis that is not only the culprit there are some other organisms those are also closely related with the uh, tubercular group of organisms those are mycobacterial bovis mycobacterium kansasi and mycobacterium fortuitum now let's come to the symptoms of uh, tubercular lymphadenitis the most important symptom is lymphadenopathy lymphadenopathy means uh, this is the normal lymph node this is the size of the normal lymph node and the consistency of that lymph node is soft and usually we do not uh, we, uh, we cannot palpate any lymph node if it is normal we have a lot of lymph nodes in the cervical region in the neck region in the submandibular regions also but normally these lymph nodes are not palpable but if there is an infection if there is an enlargement of this lymph node then only those nodes they become palpable so any enlargement or any change of consistency suppose this lymph node has become larger like this and the consistency of that lymph node has also changed from soft to firm or hard then that will be known as lymphadenopathy so lymphadenopathy means there is enlargement of the size and consistency there is enlargement of the size and change in consistency of the lymph nodes and next symptom is fever fever means there is low grade fever the fever that is associated with tuberculosis is not a high grade fever it is low grade fever usually fever comes in the evening or night and it is often associated with decreased appetite decreased weight so low grade fever in the evening or night associated with uh, loss of weight loss of appetite then it can be due to tuberculosis but it is not like that if all the symptoms are present then it is tb it is not like that these are non specific symptoms these symptoms can be present in some other entities also <clears throat> but if you have one or more of these symptoms then you <coughs> must consider consultation with your physician and definitely he will examine you he will ask you a few questions he can investigate by some investigation methods and he can <coughs> uh, diagnose what are the causes of enlargement and he also he will be treating accordingly <coughs> now what are the stages of uh, tubercular lymphadenitis there are few stages in this disease the first one is lymphadenitis that means infection in the inflammation of the lymph node periadenitis that means the infection that is initially that has uh, started in the center of the lymph node that has uh, now spreaded to the periphery of the lymph node so the inflammation in the surrounding structures in the surrounding regions of the lymph node is known as perilymphadenitis next is cold abscess that means there is formation of pus within the lymph node but in spite of producing pus there is no local rise of temperature normal uh, the bacterial abscesses are associated with local rise of temperature in case of tubercular infection there is no local rise of temperature so that is known as <coughs> cold abscess next is cholestatic abscess that means uh, there is uh, swelling of different lymph nodes along the collarbone so that will make a enlarged uh, area surrounding the collarbone and that is that is known as excuse me cholestatic abscess and the last one is sinus sinus means there is formation of pus within the lymph node and gradually those pus that will make another way on track and that will drain to the surface to the skin so forming a sinus tract so these are the features of tubercular lymphadenitis these are the stages of tubercular lymphadenitis now regarding the diagnosis the first investigation that is fnse 
in this method we usually put on a, uh, put a small needle within the lymph node and take out small amount of tissue and make a smear and examine under microscope so that we can uh, have an idea we have an idea about the uh, nature of the organism or is there anything else in the lymph node we can have we can have a information on that next investigation is bias biasimens there is a small surgical process we take out the lymph node and process it and examine it under microscope and to find out is uh, is there any infection is there any tuberculosis or is there any other infection or is it due to some uh, some other tumor like process or ex or malignancy so by excision biopsy is one of the gold standard methods of diagnosis next is chest x-ray sometimes the lymph nodes if the lymph nodes is the higher group of lymph nodes which is the chests are in, enlarged then that can be uh, seen under chest x-ray next is tuberculin test here one antigen from tuberculin uh, one antigen from the tuberculosis mycobacteria tuberculosis is injected under skin and we see uh, if there is any kind of reaction to this antigen next is mycobacterial culture we take out a small amount of tissue and put it under a uh, under a specific environment an artificial environment in which the mycobacteria can grow so if there is any mycobacteria inside a lymph node then after putting those samples within the uh, the culture media the bacteria will grow and it will change uh, it will make some visible change in, in the culture media so by this method methods we can diagnose tb lymph node now regarding treatment there are lots of antibiotics and these are given as a regimen like isoniazid pyrazinamide ethambutol uh, and rifampicin these are the usually commonly used drugs and these are given in form of regimen sometimes these are given under direct observation and to cure this entity you have to you have to stick to the schedule that you have been provided by your healthcare provider and you have to follow those schedules if you have any problem then you must consult with your local physician and uh, and take medicines uh, according to his guidance so if you think this video is helpful to you you can give us a like you can share this uh, video with your relative or any friend if you think that this video can help him or her uh, in any way and uh, also you are welcome you can uh, you can uh, share your suggestions if you have any query regarding any health topic you can also comment and uh, lastly i'll say that take care and stay fit be healthy thank you